process started with sketches um, or with ideas and then evolved into sketches. And eventually we were able to have a concept to apply on the wall. And next thing we knew, we had a whole mural produced. We always felt to encourage uh, people who are in art to help them. So there's, you know, a lot of times artists don't have uh, the most amount of money or can't afford certain supplies and want to test supplies. And we were always out there to, you know, donate canvases and spray paints and acrylic paints and brushes. Uh, and especially to a lot of schools that couldn't afford or didn't have great art programs, uh, we love to help them out. Okay, so the mural at Brown Elementary um, was a collaboration between me and um, a group of students from Brown Elementary. When we started painting, we had some trial time where the kids would go and test out the paint and I would be there. But after a while, they would understand how to, how to do it and just to fill it within the lines and apply these colors. Well, unfortunately, graffiti has always had a bad connotation. Um, people have always just assumed that it's from, you know, kids that have bad kids or, uh, you know, criminals that are, are making their mark. Whereas I'd say in the past 15, 20 years, where they see these huge murals that are done with spray paints uh, and young people that are actually um, creating great artwork. And so that kind of that, that mindset has spread worldwide now where you have people like Beamer, and you have people like Jolt and Martin Friedman who are again showing the, the uh, different cities that you can use graffiti um, to enhance the city, to really make it more uh, beautiful and expose art. It was a great experience to be able to work with the kids there and um, change the landscape at uh, Brown Elementary and create a place where the kids can go and interact and um, see this, have this ability to change their own community through this art and that's what I love the most about it. And not only the kids but the people around the, the community and the community get to see this change and get to see, um, be a part of this change um, and interact with it. You know, especially with outdoor and uh, I guess the modern art um, where people are using spray paints and using markers, uh, a lot of items that were more taboo that people discourage the use of, uh, now they're incorporating and saying that it's, you know, you can use them, just use them wisely and use them where areas where you're allowed to. Uh, and Beamer is, you know, when he takes over, uh, again, a side of a building or a wall or part of a school and shows them what they could do uh, with spray paint to be creative, uh, it opens up a whole new uh, area of art and, and uh, especially in these children, seeing that they can be creative and um, they're not destroying property, they're actually helping the community.